It's only a myth, just smoke and mirrors. The CEO and founder of Lightning Motorcycles, Richard, you are invited to our facility to see our strikes for yourself. Oh my God, you do exist. I sent you $500 years ago, but until this very moment, crickets. What say you, can I get a refund? Strike deliveries will begin in July 2019, starting with Strike Carbon Edition, followed by standard versions of Strike. Welcome to my Vaporware Electronic Motorcycle series. We'll explore electronic motorcycle manufacturers that never mass produced what they promised, or just straight up folded up shop and took everyone's money. We're going to start with the most real bikes of all, the Vaporware manufacturers, Lightning Motorcycles. Lightning Motorcycle Corporation was founded in 2006, 16 years ago by Richard Hatfield. Their first large-scale motorcycle was the LS218, an electric motorcycle supposedly with a top speed of 218 miles per hour. It entered mass production in 2017. You fucking know goddamn well that we're in production. You better stop saying that bullshit. Yeah. There's yeah. bikes over there that are in production. We've been shipping bikes since 2015. And if no. you want to keep running your fucking mouth, asshole, I'm going to fucking have you in court, and then you, go you will be fucking bankrupt. Now Sorry, Richard. 2015, then three years ago, on January 2019, they announced the lightning strike. Starting at just under $3,000, it had options for up to 20 kilowatt hours of capacity, 6 kilowatt level 2 charging, CCS, everything an electronic motorcycle nerd like myself could want. Best of all, the loaded versions were being delivered first, and they only cost about 20 grand. They were supposed to be delivered in March of 2019, about three months after the announcement. The first customer delivery appears to be Later in 2019, around September, not a very large delay, I was ready to put down a deposit around this time. Nothing came close to these specs and prices. You're probably asking, how is this vaporware? Multiple models, customer deliveries, test rides from Motorcycles.com, and even Jay Leno say it rides great. It sounds like they have a bright future. To learn more about the products, I went to Lightning Owners Meetup. The problem is, after the LS218 started mass production in 2016... Since 2015, you said we are not in production! Oops, sorry, 2015 mass production. And almost three years after the cheapest strike started getting into customers' hands, almost no one actually has one. The one customer with a strike carbon delivery at launch is the only customer posting pictures of their bike, almost three years later after production started. It turns out his bike wasn't quite built to carbon specifications. It had a smaller motor than promised. The battery was 10 kilowatt hours, half the size as advertised. No mention of level two capabilities and no CCS ability at delivery. It was a $10,000 Zero S for 20 grand. Even worse, potential customers pointed out that the fiber was incredibly rough, sharp edges everywhere, and there were switches drilled into panels that needed set to specific configurations to charge and to do other basic bike, bike functions. The dash was basically an electric bicycle dash for battery monitoring with no gasometer or way to know how much further the bike can go before it turns off. It had an RPM meter for some reason. It's an electric motorcycle, you don't have gears or any reason for that. Uh, it appeared to be a rough prototype, really, that uh, still got half the range promised. There were rumors he was actually an investor at Lightning, as he appeared to be the only owner in any social media groups, and he loved posting pictures of his bike constantly. Now, only from far away, after people noticed the up-close mistakes, anyone can look at the Zero Owners group and see what new errors the firmware updates are causing. That little TV displaying static in the, in the middle of the dash, pack computations aren't correct and require users to pull over for a half hour every hour of riding, or half hour of riding, well the battery magically goes up in charge. That last one may be a safety feature to ensure riders are well rested actually. Or they can look at the Energica owners group and see riders modifying their bikes, going on long road trips, having adventures, ripping them apart, sharing tips and working on them. But the Lightning Owners Group isn't like that. Two and a half years of Stripe mass production and seven or 10 years of LS218 mass production. And there's one active writer on social media. The CEO says his customers don't like to post online and that there's a thriving community of Lightning Owners. I've been able to track down about four. The well-known Strike owner in the group, one that wanted to start an electric racing league, the only public LS218 owner around, he also says his 2021 Lightning can't be ridden through the water. 
Uh, and I've also seen two strike owners that know nothing about electric motorcycles. This is their first. Uh, they don't know the current specs of their bike or anything that's on it. Uh, to Lightning's credit, through the grapevine, there does appear to be an LS218 or two, basically in a glass case owned by an Apple or a Coke employee executive or something, uh, that neither of them really ride or show them off or anything. Update, I found the Apple owner. It turns out they're a Lightning employee now. This website looks professional. You get free shipping with your reservation. Uh, free shipping is for the reservation document only. Motorcycle shipping is still required. At least you get something to hang on your wall for your money. <laughs> Put that document up, frame it as you wait for your refund. The copious conundrum of Cobus. In what may be the first instance of a rich American scamming a Nigerian prince, Cobus's electric motorcycle dealership in Africa sent approximately 40,000 US dollars for a Lightning LS218 after sending additional money and paperwork to be an international dealer. The bike was supposed to be discounted approximately $6,000 for the dealer to keep his profit, but Lightning allegedly decided to ask for the full amount after the wire transfer for 34 grand cleared. The bike was delayed repeatedly and missed the delivery date for the media event planned in Africa. Richard and his wife, the chief operating officer of Lightning, allegedly failed to return many email, phone calls, and texts. Eventually, they started to refund some money in 2019, around the time strike reservations were being received. But even with the token refund, they only slowly returned the money over the next year, and refused to put the agreement in writing. You can draw your own conclusions about what happened there. Cobus claims he's still out about $20,000, $15,000 over the entire mess, and continues one of those that the brand is a Ponzi scheme. Prototypes. A popular trend with vaporware manufacturers is unveiling new prototypes before delivering on the first models. This gets them media coverage, potentially more reservation money to pay back the first reservation holders, and makes them look like a legitimate manufacturer. Lightning Motorcycles is no exception. In 2020, with the LS218 and Strike Motorcycles still not in mass production, they unveiled an enclosed motorcycle prototype that got pretty good media coverage. They released a Grom killer that they wheel out a few times a year to show to press or anyone visiting the factory so that they can see how innovating the company is. If you look on Alibaba, it looks like a $200 modified Chinese electric motorcycle with lightning stickers stuck on it. Very innovative. Where is the media to call them out on this? Do they think we're dumb? Oh, there's an adventure bike coming also. I can't wait to watch its one owner ride around the factory for the next five years on that. I encourage anyone interested in reserving a Lightning motorcycle to join the public Facebook group and ask around about how many people have actually gotten what they ordered. As of now, I can count on my fingers the number of bikes that have actually mass produced. Richard, make products, not prototypes. Be more open. If you aren't a scam, we want to believe in startups. But 17 years into your company's history, there's a handful of hand-built motorcycles in owners' hands. Make us believe. Again, I say stop making prototypes, start delivering products, and your customers will speak for themselves about your company's products. Have you reserved a Lightning Motorcycle? Do you own one? Do you have a suggestion for my next manufacturer I should do? <coughs> Damon? <coughs> Damon! Ride safe and enjoy these inspirational quotes from Richard Hatfield. You fucking know goddamn well that we're in production. You better stop saying that bullshit. Yeah. There's yeah. bikes over there that are in production. We've been shipping bikes since 2015. And if no. you want to keep running your fucking mouth, asshole, I'm going to fucking have you in court, and then you go. You will be fucking bankrupt. No, our bikes have been in production since 2015. You said we are not in production, you fucking asshole. 
You're going out on fucking zero websites telling fucking lies, and we're not going to put up with it. So what lie did I tell? I said you said we weren't in production. No, we said we've been in production since 2000. No, let's fucking talk. I'm not fucking crazy. What I am is sick of your bullshit going around telling lies.